What is up, Affected, and welcome to another episode of SCW Presents Tuesday Night Turbo. That's back. That's right. We're back in action tonight. A couple of titles will be on the line. A couple of number one contenders. Last time we were on, we saw Mr. Jonesy make a statement, make a placement. Tonight, he gets a chance to take on the world champion, undefeated mayor of Toronto, Michael Furberger. It's not a title match, but it's definitely a statement match. If the monster Jonesy can defeat Michael Furberger, it is going to be a game changer coming up in just a couple of weeks. It's going down like King NorCal said it is. SC Dub, SC Dub, that is right. That man right there, Mr. King NorCal, will be in action later tonight. Joey Undead will be in action later tonight. Actually, coming right up. <laughs> Hail to the king. Hail to Denfrood. We're coming to you live from Denver, Colorado, where we do each and every time that we come to you with Tuesday Night Turbo. We're going to open you up with a little bit of tag team action right here. And what we've got is a statement. Last week, you saw Hell Inc., Freddy's Ready, and Joey Undead waylay their competition against two fat fucks. They really mopped the floor with them. This week, we're going to see if they can take on Dirty Dancing because if Hell Inc. can take out Dirty Dancing this week, Obviously, they're going to be number one contender shot for the SCW World Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Uh, tag Team Deep Dibbits. Dibbits. The, the Blacksmith. I like that. I like that. It's good. I like that. Uh, but unfortunately, Hell Inc. has got to go through uh, Dirty Dan Frode and Fatality before any of that is said and done. <laughs> the Warlord Lethal. I wonder what I am. The jester? Like, I, I put bells on my head? Probably. We'll go with that. I'm the jester of the land of NorCal. That's good stuff. Lord Jizzy a lot. <laughs> Alright, Dad, don't screw this up. It's right. Because how cool would that be if Hell Inc., taking nothing away from Dan Frode and Fatality, but how cool would it be if Freddy's Ready and his illegitimate adopted son Joey could take on his legitimate son for the World Tag Team Championship? Uh, the, bells would, the bells wouldn't be on top. What's going on, Dr. Jekyll? Good to see you, buddy. How is life treating you? I'm not even standing up. Thank you. Finally, it loaded. My lord, my liege, my lord, liege. Salutations, Dr. Jackal. That's right. Starting off with a little bit of tag team action. Coming to the ring first, it is Dirty Dan Frode, former SCW referee, and Mr. I Am Fatality, straight 80s. They are known as Dirty Dancing. Damn, Mr. Red, Hell King. <laughs> I don't know, my mute, my sound sounds terrible. I don't know what that is. That rope is bent. Wow, that rope is bent too. <laughs> What's going on, David Casey Gamers? How you doing? Welcome to the show. Cat sled. Yes, cat sled indeed. And their opponents tonight in this steel cage tag team match. Freddy's ready. Joey undead. Both of those men you can find right here on Twitch. Streaming 
Not right now, but much later tonight, Mr. Freddy's Ready will be on. Joey, you can catch him playing all the classic games. Father and adopted son, they are also known as Hell Inc. Cool matchup. Appreciate it, man. You can type in Freddy's Ready in the Twitch search bar. Check out that man with the gr glowing green goggles. You can also check out Joey Undead right here on Twitch. He does wear a kimono unless a professional wrestler steals it. Then it's completely different. Joey Undead, Lord of the Underworld. I like that. That's great, dude. I like it. The Gala Guy. Appreciate that follow, Gala Guy. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Appreciate that follow. Welcome to SCW. We do this two nights a week. Unless it's a pay-per-view, then it's three nights a week. Uh, but it is um, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday nights. We do this SCW. And basically what you're seeing here is streamers. Most of them are on Twitch. Some are on YouTube. And some of them are just uh, amazing people that come and hang out with us a lot. Fatality is an old school streamer. It doesn't stream very often. It's uh, maybe once or twice a year. Um, Dan Frode is a huge supporter of this show. Somebody I absolutely love in this world. So, of course, he gets a character. But like I said, Joey Undead, Freddy's Ready, right here on Twitch. Check him out at least weekly and sometimes daily. Fatality off the top rope. And Dirty Dan gets blocked by Joey. Like we said earlier, this is a little bit of trying to set the pace for the tag team division. It is very sporadic, it is very spread out, and we need to sort of get a handle on who's the number one contender and who needs to be next in line. So that's kind of what we're, we're figuring out here. We're gonna have a, a big long line of it, and then if that number one contender gets knocked off uh, by wildlife, then boom, next in line steps up. And how that is done is through win-loss records. Oh shit, what's going on to the sense? Good to see you, buddy. Twisted Sense, that's another streamer right there. Streams on Twitch and YouTube at the same damn time. I don't know how he does it, uh, but he definitely does it. And, uh, oh, Fatality's climbing the cage. Joey's going to stop him. Uh, but, yes, Twisted Sense will be wrestling tomorrow night. And Medieval Jax. Oh, Jaxie. How you doing, girl? I've got the uh, the best hat ever on today. Uh, are you painting? Are you uh, going to... I'm trying to think. Um... Uh, Wallaby Mart. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the big shopping conglomerate over there in uh, Australia? What what do you like? We have Walmart and Target and things like that. What do you have? The mall. Uh, I'm going to game today. There you go, Bondage Cat. Yes, that's broccoli. Yeah, we know it's broccoli. Uh, good to see you, girl. Just set up my PS4 and Elgato. You got an Elgato. Sweetness. That's awesome. That's something that uh, is down the road. We have Kmart. And you have Kmart? It can't be the same Kmart. It's got to be a, like a like Kangaroo Mart or something. I mean, it's got to be something different. It can't be Kmart. No way. No way. Dan Frode seeing that cage. Climbing it up. Dan Frode. Oh, Joey can't stop him. Fatality. Fatality. Bringing him out. Freddy trying to get back up. I effing love Kmart. Koala Mart. You calm the hell down, Twisted Sense. Nobody's going to stop Dan Frode. Dan Frode is escaping. Dan Frode on the outside. That's leaving Fatality on the inside by himself against Hell Inc. Dead. What the fuck? I <laughs> know. Uh, yo, I'm here. What I miss? Nothing. This is the very first opening match. Good to see you there, Norville Rogers. Which do we have the pleasure? Is it one, two, or both? Uh, hey, Jax has added you on PS4. Boom shakalaka. What are you playing tonight, Jax? Fatality, working on Freddy's Ready. Joey not really should have climbed the cage. Like, Joey seriously should have climbed the cage. 
That would have been the smartest thing, and that would have been a one-on-one -on -one match for the fight on the outside. Uh, both! We've got both. Norville Rogers, the Legion, the Brain Trust is here to um, spit a thesis? I don't know. Joey, like we said, climbing that cage. Fatality. Trying to catch up to Freddy's ready. Oh, Dan Frode on the outside. Can he stop him? Uh, fatality has caught up to Freddy. Joey's going to touch down. It is a one-on-one -on -one match in this tag team division. I was going to go for tonight for Black Ops 3. Sweet, sweet. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hi, Happy. Uh, great choice, great choice. My new PSN is Meetable Jacks. Uh, send me a friend request. Uh, damn it, Dad, you slow mofo. <laughs> send me a send me a friend request. I would send you one, but I'm busy streaming. Fatality, telling Freddy's ready to get the hell up. I don't know what that bend in the rope is. It's been there all the time. Oh, Fatality, big knee to the back of Freddy's ready's head. It is down a one on one match. One man from each team has escaped the cage. What do you mean, what's mine? Really, bro? Really, bro. Really? Fatality is going to climb the cage. Freddy's ready's down dead center of the ring. Freddy's going to come to life, but I believe it is going to be a little bit too late. We talked about win-loss records, and right here, Dirty Dancing beats Hell, Inc. A tick, a tick, a tick. Dad, you some bitch. Your rope is limp. It's no, it's just got a, it's got a, it's got a bend in it. It's, it's bent for her pleasure. I mean, what are you talking about? It, it continues on the straight line. It's just, you know, got a dip in it. Yay, Dirty Dan Frode and I am Fatality win this opening match. That's awesome. You got an Elgato. I, I need a computer. I need like an actual streaming computer before I can get an Elgato. So it's a, it's an eventual. It's an eventual. <laughs> Yeah, it limp. No, no, it's it's just got a dip in it, you know. That way, when you're when you rub it, never mind. I listen. I am not a uh, um, has it. See, that's something I would love to see because when you do these simulated matches, you don't get to see like them throwing each other into the cage. It's usually like bang bang, and then they climb out. I have a I have a match specifically made so that. When we do it, they can't climb out. They actually have a match and a pinfall on the inside. So uh, if they've actually improved it, it's going to be nice. Because I did pre-order the 2K19. And the reason I did it is because I like pops. And I've, I have to have the Ric Flair pop. You, you, it's one of those ones I've got to. And eventually I want to transfer all these characters over to that as well. Uh, just sent you one, sis. Uh, yeah, a dip. Does Ginger <laughs> like it? That It's not limp. It's a... It's a it's a it's a crescent. It's uh, it's uh, notched. <laughs> well, you got to think about it. Look, all right. So here's a straight, right? And then it, let's let's say it bends down, right? And it was supposed to be straight. Well, now you got this stuff on the bottom rubbing a little bit harder than you would on top. But if it's straight, it just goes in. But now you got this little rubbing spot. Why am I explaining this to you? You got a weak pullout game, bro. Uh, but yeah, that, that's awesome, man. And I appreciate that follow. Um, Gal Galagai? Galagai? Is that how you pronounce your name? I'm terrible with names. But I remember you, so it's a win-win situation. I also don't know why my speakers are so crap. At least I don't got a limp rope. It's not limp. It's still taut. It's still taut. It's taut, lethal. It's a taut. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. As we saw on last week's Tuesday Night Turbo, Mr. Chris Stuff won his right to be the number one contender for Delix King of Hell Championship. Tonight, he faces against Delic inside of Hell in a Cell. And I'm so damn surprised that Hell in a Cell fit in our little arena right here in Denver, Colorado. Duck! <laughs> A limp spaghetti noodle. Yes, yeah, slaps Red Walrus's ass. Damn. Yeah, you're right. There he is, Mr. Kristoff. He earned the right to do it. He earned the right to fight to be king of hell. Tonight, he puts it all on the line. And we will find out if he will be able to defeat one of SCW's top wrestlers, Mr. Delic Life. Joey Undead, jiggle, moves, stop jiggling moves, stop jiggling moves, settle down, Danny. <laughs> no rope for you, aww.
with the exception of Michael Furberger, no one has been more dominant in SCW than Delic, the very first and only two-time current champ. That man right there, he won the Operation Hug the World Champ and the King of Hell at the exact same time. He went on to defend both of them multiple times back to back until suffering a loss against Golden Threat at Frodecade 2018. Tonight, he's still got one of those belts around his waist. He's just got to go through Chris stuff, and he remains still on top of the game. Twisted Joey! Yeah, that makes sense. A Twisted Joey. <laughs> so did you pre-order the Deluxe or Standard? Yeah, I, I got the Deluxe. I got the major, super, ridiculously $120 or $130 package. But it's the one that comes with the Ric Flair pop. You, here, I'll show you. See, there, there's my, uh, there's my pop collection. People always ask me to move my camera, and I can move the PlayStation one, but my main camera I can't because it's like located behind the TV. So this one's a lot easier to move. All right, like we said, we're gonna lower the hell in a cell right now around these two, King of Hell, right there, boom shakalaka. I think it's funny that that cage fits in here. Blender says hi, Lethal. Damn. You see that SCW logo on the bottom corner? You also see it on the ring dead center. That was created by Mr. Red Walrus, who is in the chat currently. Fantastic artist and uh, never has let me down ever. What a miss, nothing sea chicken, but you wanna, you're gonna wanna stay to the uh, at least the fourth match. Figured it moved on, what? Oh, does it, it does that first? What, I have no idea what that means. Oh, you're talking about the, the blender. You figured the blender had moved on. Delic doesn't wanna relinquish the hell championship, but he must. Hey, sea chicken, wow. There it is. It's technically gold. I know I, I know I say gold, but it's it's the gold. It's it's gold. I know it's silver and, and, and white, but it's gold. It's gold. Gold. Deep inside the hell in the cell. And like you said, they reworked the cage match. Hopefully they reworked the hell in the cell. Because they just they in the simulation match, which is I mean, it's what we do here, like, they don't really utilize the cell. I mean, every once in a while they do, but rarely. And I'd like to see a simulation match where they break out of the cell, go on top, and actually do something. Now, if I wanted to take control of it, cool, but I don't want it. I like it simulated, and I would like them to actually use the cell how they do in real life. White gold, Texas tea, sea chicken. Uh, hey, you see, running power bomb from Delic to Kristoff. <laughs> Sub Walnut. <laughs> Sub Kmart. <laughs> Delic. Still putting the hurting on Chris stuff. You're exactly right about the cell. Yeah, I've only had this game for, I think, two months. Maybe two and a half months, something like that. I know. I bought it late in life. Um, but I'm going to put a lot of time and effort into the new game. And I think that it'll definitely pay off. You know, especially when people know that I'm here doing this. Um... Run and power slam into the turnbuckle. Delic is in deep trouble and miss. I mean, it's cool to put him inside the cell, but when they don't utilize it, then it's kind of pointless. And my, oh, damn, Delic's got him in this weird, like, nutcracker position. But I've seen people play it, and it looks very improved. That's awesome. It does give me hope. I mean, not that this game is bad. It's, there's, I, I can't really hate a whole lot in this game. I wish it had more music and I wish it had more like custom things you can put in people's hands like a water bottle or a sledgehammer like during their entrance that would be really cool um, there's a few more quandaries that I have but definitely in a simulated match I would like them to utilize the cages and um, other than that it's pretty cool uh, why is Delic mounting Kristoff because sometimes you just gotta uh, back in the days Sim match, they break cage and fight on top. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, back in like, uh, here comes the pain and no mercy and things like that. Yeah, they actually made a, a specific point of the cage where somebody could fall through and land on the mat. Yeah, and, and I think you could do that in this game if you actually played it, but 
I don't know. I, I I have never actually played a match in this. Everything's been simulated. Oh, like Wrestling Revolution. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, sometimes you got to mount a guy to you know show him your dominance. This is what Delic was doing was sorting his dominance over Chris stuff. It just it happens. Uh, but yeah, you're right. They did simulate back in the day and it actually worked. But I think this is sort of the PG era. And going for the pin. Ooh, one count. Damn it, man. Um, in the PG era, you don't really get hurt on the cage because it's all um, not real, you know? So, I don't know. It's like you have to turn the blood on in this game, which is something that just kind of pissed me off. Big backdrop right there, dead center of the ring. Delic, you got to watch out. He might hit you with a record breaker. And if you do, it is lights out. Oh, damn! Big, giant kick to the face of Kristoff. Going off the ropes. Oh, set on bomb. Kristoff has never held SCW gold in any color. And he would love to walk out of here with a little bit of gold tonight. But Delic is a formidable opponent. Wrestling Revolution on Revolution could possibly be better than WWE 2K18. Is it out? Is it is it out? Has it been out? Oh, it's, it's, it's a rope break. Are you kidding me? Uh, Steel Cage going for the pin. And it is over. Just like that. Delic steamrolls through Kristoff. And not one time do they get outside the ring inside of a Hell in a Cell match. This is what we're talking about. This is what me and uh, uh, the Gala guy was talking about is you put him in this high stakes match where you're supposed to utilize the cage. Oh! Oh, there it was, record breaker. And uh, they just don't. They just don't. If I had the money to make a game, wouldn't it be no PG about it? I agree with you. I didn't even see him hit the damn record breaker. I did not even see him hit it. I thought Chris Stuff was going to be able to grab the rope, but Hell in a Cell match and Mr. Delic is still your SCW King of Hell. Like we said, everybody here is a streamer. Everybody here, you can go and check out Mr. Delic Life. Check him out on YouTube. You can check him out on Instagram. Uh, old school skateboarder from back in the day. Now he drops the beats like he drops Chris stuff with that record breaker. Um, it's a mobile game. I was being sarcastic. Wrestling Revolution is a very good game, though. No, there was one coming up, though. There was like a... It was like a $10 game on PlayStation. I thought it was called Wrestling Revolution. What is that one? It looked kind of cool. It was like it had like a like a like a phoenix or something as the logo and it's something with wrestling. I cannot remember what it was called. I thought that's what you were talking about. I think it was like a $10 PlayStation game. It may already be out. Um damn. Maybe it was, maybe it was a Lucha Libre thing. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've browse through the PlayStation Store, but I remember people talking about it when it first started coming out. Whoop, whoop, Super Chica. Whoop, whoop, Super Chica. Whoop, whoop, blonde hair flowing. <laughs> Good to see you, girl. How much did you uh, sweat today? And, bonus question, if you tell me if you collect it in a little glass so that I can drink it. Alright, what you have here is the SCW Extreme Championship is on the line. It is a 10-man, over-the-top, battle royale with cheese. And uh, the winner walks out the extreme champion. Now, since inception of this belt, Mr. GQ Smooth has held on to it, except for one occasion, and then he got his automatic granted rematch. He came back, won it back tonight. He puts it back on the line like he's supposed to. KFC and Snickers, huh? Hell yes! Wrestling Revolution was a free game. It's low budget, uh, but M. Dickey makes good games. Great sponsors. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Our entry number one is Tovey Wall, another man who has never tasted SCW gold. Uh, would love to take some home tonight. That was the... What was that word? Tongue wrestling game? There, are you talking about tongue wrestling? <laughs> you know, I know you're old. Um, well, I did two rip classes today, uh, so about two bottles worth. 
How much are you charging for your for your uh, for your boob sweat? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, who's gonna be entry number two? You never know how the uh, the chips are gonna fall. Like we said, ten man over the top battle royale for GQ Smooths Extreme Champion. Will he draw number two? <laughs> two rip classes. One hundred dollars. Damn. Are are they Dasani bottles? Or are they like Chica bottles? Or the crowd is just anticipating a bottle. <laughs> yeah, but how big are the bottle? Uh, I'm trying to remember who this is. Ah, Ali D. I could not remember the music right there. There he is, Mr. Toot Toot Lovin' Trains, Mr. Ali D. Ali D comes to us every time he's popping in the chat, all the way from Scotland. He's born and bred Scottish. Ali D would love to take some SCW home back to Scotland tonight. And do not let his love of trains fool you. He will run you over in order to actually take that belt tonight. A bottle. He has a long entrance, so we're going to speed this shit up. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Like we said, 10 man over the top battle royale. Starting off, Tove and Ali D every X amount of time. It's not two minutes. It's, it's very quick. Every X amount of time, a new man comes down to the ring. The size of your water bottle. Rawr. You know my water bottle's got a dip in it. Lethal doesn't tell me about it. It's called Super Chica Glow Water. <laughs> Damn, that's a hell of a name. You can see that new, new from Coca-Cola, Super Chica Glow Water. See, there was no way that was two minutes from the start of the match to right there. I, I don't know what the time frame is. I think it changes at its random pace. Who's going to be number three? And it's going to be the Dirty Fish Stick. And I know already, but now they have the Dirty Fish Stick in the match is actually kind of terrible. Well, I needed ten people. It won't let me have an eight man. So we had to, we had to add two more. Fish stick leaning up against it. Oh, damn! Tove with a major insecurity kick to the top of Ali D's head. Tove getting rocked in the crotch. Tove! Damn! Tove got eliminated by the dirty fish stick right off the bat. <laughs> glow water sounds good. No, it's super chica glow water. Super chica glow water. Number four, Big Daddy Juggalo. Big Daddy Juggalo, part of the tag team, Two Fat Fucks. They are not competing in tag team format tonight. They are competing with uh, individuality. That's a word. Eddie Murphy and Samuel Jackson doing grumpy old men movie. I, I, you know, I don't consider Eddie Murphy or Samuel Jackson old men. Like when Walter Matthau and uh, Jack Lemmon did grumpy old men, they were like in their, what, late 60s? I mean, is Samuel Jackson in his 60s? Ali D working on Big Daddy Juggalo, and here comes number five, Mr. Homebody. Oh, damn it! Ali D misses the clothesline, fish stick, gets it, but Big Daddy Juggalo holds the hell on. Number five is Mr. Homebody, who is streaming right now, believe it or not. If you guys want to, you can, uh, let me see here, let me double check my uh, thing. Yes, if you guys were to type in Homebody Lifestyle, all one word, Homebody Lifestyle, you can check out that man in blue streaming right now. I did not. I would not consider Eddie Murphy or Samuel Jackson old. I mean, damn. Who is going to be our number six entry? Oh, big Daddy Juggalo, big axe hammer. And number six is going to be Cotton Timothy Finkelbottom. Eddie's in his 60s, or at Samuel is pushing 80. No way, Samuel Jackson's not 80. <laughs> No way. Sea chicken fact of the day. So we've got Timothy Finkelbottom, and we've got Fish Stick, and then we've got Mr. Homebody. Mr. Homebody turn around on Timmy. Big Daddy Juggalo. So, so far, the only person being eliminated is Tove. Yes, no way. And Big Daddy Juggalo cannot hold on, Big Daddy. Eliminated. Mr. Homebody taking down Timmy. Number seven, Singing Gamer. Singing Gamer yet to make a solid impact here in SCW. Tonight, he would love nothing more than to take some gold home. Okay, see, that's better. Thank you, Joey. That's much better. I, I would, I can picture, I can picture Eddie Murphy 57. I still can't picture Samuel Jackson at 69. Damn. Like, I would, man, really? 
Beautiful tombstone right there to singing gamer. Everybody's counting down, and the next entry is coming in. It's going to be Tandis of the Tandis fam. Tandis fam, believe it or not, is actually working tonight. He clocked out of his job, and then he drove straight to the arena to wrestle, and then when he's done, win or lose, that man will go right back to work. Um, yeah, I, I, actually, I realized that as soon as I said it. As soon as I said it, there's an eight-man, but I clicked on Royal Rumble, and there's only 10, 20, and 30. And I was like, yeah, there's an eight-man. That's right, I forgot about that. But it's all right, it's all right. So he's going to be next. Like we said, GQ Smooth. There he is, entry number nine. He's coming in at a beautiful position. Timmy is eliminated by Ali D. Well, I knew they're old, but yeah, they're doing the movie, though. That's crazy. I just, like I said, I cannot picture them being grumpy old men without, like, like extra, um, like extra makeup. Oh, holy shit. Mr. Homebody just eliminated the ninth entry in this match who is the champ which means tonight we will have a brand new extreme champion no matter what what's going on Kona how you doing girly pants and number 10 is the other half of two fat fucks and that is Mr. Dustman the proper thing in the chat would be say who uh, singing gamer has never won but he's the number one in our karaoke hearts exactly true E to D to me Fish stick working on Dustman. Alley working on Singing Gamer. Homebody taking a siesta, and Tandis is back up. That means all ten men are in this match. One of them will be brand new Extreme Champion tonight. Place your bets in the side. Oh, they probably add some stuff to them. Yeah, they would have to. They, like they would really have to. Oh, damn stunner! Uh, the fish sticker right there. Uh, doing better, thanks. Yes. Um, I'm. I'm you, you know how it is. I'm, I'm not going to say it. You already know. Um, sucks. So, I hope you're doing better. If you want to, you can hang out do some wrestling. Uh, Red Man and Method Man? Okay. Fish Stick still working on Dust Man. There it is. There it is. Maybe it's Dusty or Dustin. Trying to get him out. Number 10. Uh, but it'll be one hell of a funny movie. But I'll -bum -bum. Oh, sing it, gamer. Singing Gamers never won a match. He's still number one in our karaoke hearts. Dustman, major kick to the dirty fish stick. There it is. Hashtag Dustin. That's what it was. Thank you. Not even Nightbot remembers Red Psy. Uh, Dustman working on Tandis. Alley. Oh, shit. Oh, that move scares the shit out of me every time he does it. I know it's a simulated match, but damn. Uh, do you have a wrestler? Do you have a wrestler named Eugene? No, I, I remember Eugene from back in the day. Uh, but no, what, what these people are, these are all people that either stream or are um, longtime friends of the show. I, I made them. They're created in their likeness. It's the stuff that they would wear. Their faces are really close. It's their actual height and weight. And um, it's basically like a simulation among friends with a really loud jackass commentating over it. Ali D, working on the dirty fish stick. Mercy Wings, I know what you're playing right there. It's the flying thing, and then you added the uh, cheesy poofs. Dirty fish stick on the outside. Ali can't get him out. Trying to push him out. Dust Mantanis need to focus on the fish stick. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Kona, you're coming up. Uh, I'm saving the women's division. Homebody's going to lose. Damn, Dale. Um... I'm saving the women's division until I get 2K19 because I want to put a lot of effort into it. The women's division will actually be built first before I start transferring all these guys over. And Kona, you're on the list. Oh, and Ali D eliminated. Fish stick, Dustman, Homebody, Tandis. One of them will be brand new. Extreme champ tonight. Uh, Antiflex, Antiflex. <laughs> uh, they either stream or finger bang. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Who in the world looks like the fish stick? Uh, technically, that's me. <laughs> technically. Hang on. Technically? I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna put it out there, technically it's me. Tandis! Tandis getting power bombed to the outside. 
Um, <laughs> like I said, Mr. Homebody. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure if they're still streaming or not. Delves in here. Um, Mr. Homebody, Dustman, entry number ten, and the Dirty Fish who came in like number three. Dustman working on Mr. Homebody. Delve called it. We are down to two. One brand new. Extreme champ tonight, Dustman, part of Two Fat Fucks, Fish Stick, a random guy I had to toss in this match. Uh, finger bang bang you into my life. Uh, if you get that reference, congratulations. Oh, damn, Dustman using his strength and power. Called it! Yeah, but it's not fair. It's not fair if you called it that way. You can't vote against it. It's, of course he's going to lose. Fish Stick wishing worst upon Dustman. From the top rope, major drop kick, missile drop kick from the top rope, right to Dustman's face. Fishstick is gonna celebrate. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> How you doing tonight, Dev? I saw that you were on. Um, you posted on Instagram, but to, uh, Tuesdays and Wednesday nights are really my busiest. I'm sorry I didn't get to stop in. Um, how's the new game? You said you were gonna. Die a lot in it, I think. Dustman trying to take control of this. No. Oh, he does. He reverses it on the fish stick. Dustman might have him. Major kick, major punch to the back. Dustman working on the dirty fish stick. He throws him over. Dustman becomes brand new SCW Extreme Champion. Damn. The fish stick is the one true wrestler. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Dustman, brand new champion. You calm the hell down, show. Still rigged. <laughs> Say hallelujah. General Grievous. Holy shit! Y'all be quiet. General Grievous is here. Are you are you um are you like the ghost of General Grievous? Or are you like like General Grievous like still badass before like getting injured? Very curious. That's an awesome name, man. I love General Grievous. He was just so underrated in the damn movies. He needed to be in part two to be teased, and then he can have a, a bigger part in three. But whatever. I don't write the movies. Uh, speaking of stuff that I also don't write, the very next match is the one that you guys have been waiting for all night long. All night. And that is Mr. Sea Chicken finally gets his shot at SCW Gold against the reigning and defending nerd champion, Mr. Spaceman Steve. Uh, the badass one. I, that's what I would pick too, man. Um, here, let me show you something, man. Don't, don't go anywhere. This is one of the uh, this is one of the biggest uh, the coolest pieces in my collection, man. This is from Star Wars Unleashed, um, and this came out like in '99 or 2000, 2005, somewhere in there. I know it was a while ago, but yeah, this figure is absolutely sick, and like it, it stands on its it comes with its own stand, and I know this this camera is terrible. But it comes with its own stand and everything, and he just looks absolutely badass. If you're a fan of General Grievous, I, I say try to pick one of these up. It's it's not too terribly expensive, but it is really, really badass. And I mean, by the way, welcome to the Nerdy Effect. It is the nerdiest nerd host that ever nerd nerd. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I do. I did put a lot of work into this, a whole lot of work, because I want it to feel authentic, new, and different. And I want the people that come into the show a lot of times to be able to see their character and get behind their character. So uh, that's why I did it. Damn phone sucks. It's all right. It's all ready. Um, let's see here. Oh, let me go back. Sorry, I missed. Spaceman for the win. Sorry, not sorry, Sea Chicken. Damn. Damn. Calling him out already. Uh, sea Chicken for the win, says Dan. <laughs> the badass one. There we go. Spaceman going to pull aliens from Sea Chicken's nose and stuff them up his butt. Awesome. Uh, it's all right, Super Chica. You're good. What's your PSN name? I am uh, the same one all the way across the board, man. I'm the Nerdy Effect. 
You can find me, The Nerdy Effect, on Instagram, The Nerdy Effect on Twitch, The Nerdy Effect on uh, YouTube, and The Nerdy Effect on PlayStation. Uh, sorry, I should say Spaceman for the win, eh? <laughs> Damn, show! There he is. He, uh, Spaceman probably will win. Stop voting against yourself, bro. You gotta quit. Uh, but yes, this is a tables match, I believe. Uh, I will friend you, and I will friend you back, because, listen, I've seen General Grievous fight. The dude kills Jedi and takes their lightsabers. You want to be that dude's friend. You don't want to, you know, just be like, oh, whatever, you know, we'll just uh, push you off to the side. No, you want to be that dude's friend, unless you have a lightsaber, like I do. Sorry. And now it's time for your SCW Nerd Champion. All the way from the goddamn moon, Mr. Space Man Steve. <laughs> Automatically want the chicken to win. Tuna power. Chicken go kick his ass. I think Sea Chicken is smuggling grapefruits in this one. I sent you a friend request. All right, man. Appreciate it. Cooking with Shay. Ah, oh, what's going on, Shay Shay? Good to see you, girly pants. I appreciate the hell of that raid. Great to see you. How was cooking tonight? I'm sorry I didn't get to pop in. Like I said, Tuesdays and Wednesdays are my busy days. I don't have time for much of anything. But there he is, Mr. Spaceman Steve. Like I said, if you want to see Spaceman Steve, his actual show, you go to YouTube and you type in Public Access Channel. 66 and you'll be able to check out all of spaceman steve's amazing archived videos scripted shows right here on the sony playstation network that's fan damn tastic uh sea chicken you can find right in this show right here right now uh raise your hand if you miss jimbo what's going on jimbo uh sea chicken was also an old school streamer back on the playstation hasn't streamed in a long time but it's all good to see him um uh shy shay great to see you um What's going on, y'all? Freddy's ready. Thank you so much for them 20 Wandas, you dirty bastard. Uh, King Kong 2329. I like, I like it, man. I like it. At least you said it, because a lot of people don't tell me that. Like, I'm sending you a friend request, and their name is like, you know, like, Jack. And then you get a friend request from like, XX back butt stuff XX969. And I'm like, who the hell is this guy? Like, me and, me and you know, this other guy got along. Uh, what's going on, Jimbo? This is the most perfect pineapple upside down cake I've ever seen. Ooh, I want one so bad. Uh, what's new, nerd? What's new, nerdy cat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not your father, Joey. Yeah, you're damn sure not a cage match winner either, Freddy. Uh, but that's the story for another time. Host Bomb, good to see you, Jimbo. How you doing, buddy? How's your week been? Ha <laughs> ha! We, uh, normally this flag is, is down and there's more nerd stuff back there, but I left the flag up from yesterday's show. Uh, yo, nerdy and everyone, what's going on, Allie D? You done missed your match tonight. But have no fear, we've got Sea Chicken versus Spaceman Steve in a tables match. Uh, Ali, heroes! Uh, mine is close to mine, Twitch, but don't, but don't, but don't, but don't away, mean. <laughs> I'll be streaming again real soon, getting eyes fixed. That's right, yeah, Sea Chicken is going to get his uh, eyes fixed, and that means he won't have to be like, you know. Look at my leaky roof. Comment, read. Look at my leaky roof. Comment, read. Yeah, that's right. Good. <laughs> oh, man, what happened? I'm not going to tell you. Sea Chicken taking it to Spaceman Steve. This is a tables match, which means you have to put your opponent through a table. Once you do that, you will become the nerd champion. Here in SCW, if you lose your championship, you get an automatic rematch clause, which means, like in the case of Spaceman Steve and King NorCal, the belt went back and forth and back and forth because of that automatic rematch clause. Uh, but if Spaceman Steve does manage to mow down the Yardbird Sea Chicken, that means he's out of the running and Spaceman Steve is on to the next number one contender. Norway Lethal Heroes, I've been playing the new FIFA 19 tonight. How is it? How is it? Very curious. In my opinion, the graphics changed a lot from 2K17, or maybe just think that because 2K17 was trash. I agree with you on that 100%. Uh, through a table. No, not, not a tablet, a table. A table. Like, if you were to spell out table, 
It says Tabble. It, it depends on how you inflect the A. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, they're getting dangerously close to the table. You do not have to put them through it inside the ring. It could be sitting on the outside. If a body goes through the table, it's over, said and done. Pineapple upside down cake. Damn it, I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Ah, Tabble. There you go, Jimbo. There you go. Uh, Am I still battling with money for the Sugar Walls belt? I think so, yeah. I actually think you are. I can I can double check that. Let's see. Um, uh, wrong, wrong button. Hang on, hang on. Uh, yeah. So, Jekyll, you had it. Moneymaker won it. And then... Moneymaker retained it, so you're not. You're out of the running. You're out of the ta you're out of the match, Jekyll. Sorry, uh, you were not in. It. How do I sneak in here? You just say, "Hi, my name is Jimbo." Uh, yeah, it's good game. Played different, um, but makes it better. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh damn! Sea Chicken just dropped Spaceman Steve right on his head. I mean, the soundtrack was okay, 2K17, but the soundtrack now, I love. Yeah, I love how they mixed it up. It wasn't all the same stuff. It wasn't like some funky, um, like indie music or something. It was like real deal stuff. And the fact they put George Theragood on here just spoke to me in a different way. Hi, my name's Jimbo. There you are. I have like 20, maybe 30 created superstars uh, you could use for SCW. The way that I do this is it's like people that, that either are streamers that I know on Twitch and YouTube or it's people who are always here in my chat. Like if... Once we get into 2K19, if people come in often enough, like let's say Jimbo visited the show three or four times, um, that would be acceptable to then make him a creative character. That way he can sort of get behind his character whenever we're doing this live. Um, but it would have to look like Jimbo. I'm, I, like if you're, you know, if you're wearing like you know complete tie dye stuff, then it doesn't really work unless you do it in real life. So it has to actually be. Holy shit! Holy shit! Wow! I did not see that coming! Look at that reverse power bump and the table exploded! Holy shit! Holy damn! Watch this! Look at this! He wasn't even trying! Sea chicken face first through the table into pieces! And still, SCW Nerd Champion, the man who drops down from the goddamn moon, Mr. Spaceman Steve. Public access channel 66 on YouTube. What a crazy end to that. From his nose into his ass. <laughs> popcorn, popcorn, popcorn. Uh, I'm wearing all black and I wear every day uh, bright clothes I have. But this is a great finish. Uh, my God, that man's got a family. <laughs> Congrats, Space Man Steve. Um, right here, this is a perfect, great matchup. Uh, that is King NorCal. You can find him right here on Twitch. Uh, it is K I N G underscore NorCal. Uh, fantastic streamer. Uh, what you see right here is what you get in the show. It is a king of NorCal. Everything is in the dialect. It's in the speech. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. Um, and then on the opposite side, the Operation Hug the World Champ right there, Mr. Golden Threat. You can check him out on YouTube. Type it in just like that, Golden Threat. Um, he has himself um, not only a live stream on YouTube to the PlayStation, but also does his own work on the outside. He films his own superhero show. He does his own animation. He is a creator with a fantastic mind. Both these men, uh, terrific friends of mine, and um, very creative. But that is what they look like. Like that is what like you you go and pick up their show or check out their Instagram. That is what they look like, and that is why I build this because. It's like you're rooting for your friends. It's rooting for the people that you see all the time when you watch these shows. Uh, I mainly hope that my career mode is good. The ones now just don't interest me. I haven't even touched it, so I feel you. My name I'm used to is also King Kong 2329. I'm very curious, what does the 2329 mean? 
Uh, ever since 2K12, it hasn't been the same. Yeah, that's when they sort of went to that super PG era, too. Uh, my God, he went through a table. The arena's in shock. 911. He killed a man. There he is, Mr. King NorCal. Check him out on Instagram. Check him out right here on Twitch. Uh, I seen Den Cops play. It seems awesome. Are you talking about the new game, the new one? Um, that is Mr. King NorCal. King NorCal is the former SCW nerd champion. Him and Spaceman Steve back and forth matches, and eventually Spaceman Steve came on top. And tonight it is time to see if Mr. King NorCal can become the number one contender for Golden Threats Operation Hug the World Championship. It means nothing. It's just random numbers. Okay, just just curious. And it's. Dank Ops! <laughs> Dank Ops! But yeah, these are actual real height and weight, too. That's something that is uh, pretty cool. So if you actually saw these guys in real life, that is how they would stack up against each other. As Mr. Golden Threat, your Operation Hug the World Champion. Mr. Floss himself, Golden Threat, may not be a troll, but NorCal will slay him like a threatening one. Damn! Uh, hug the world, uh, not hug hell. Sorry, that happens. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I'm going to be a small child? Um, no, believe it or not, they actually have a, a, a height cap and a weight cap. So, and, and the thing is, I've never made a, I've never made like the female division on here. I, I tried, it didn't work, so that's why I'm saving it for the better game. So, I, I think it's proportional, so. <laughs> what? Uh, see what I did there? I see what you did there, I like that, that was great. Uh, like I said, this is for the, uh, NorCal for the win. Uh, oh, this is Godfather, but, like, not. <laughs> you gotta check him out. I, I'm telling you right now, General Grievous, you would, you would like that. When did we try? No, we didn't try. I tried in my spare time. Uh, but yeah, you need to check out Golden Threat um, CCZ TV over there on YouTube. Uh, fantastic, because I mean, he is like a superhero pimp. Have you ever thought if a pimp got superhero powers, this is what he would do? It's great. It's fantastic. Um, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Damn, damn, Red Walrus. Oh, shit. Beautiful shoulder breaker right there from Golden Threat. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, Shay Shy will also be a part of the women's division as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, don't worry about it, Kona. It, it will all be evened out. Uh, by God, this is a match for the 80s. Now, nah, this one, it's not there yet. You got to give it time. You got to let it, you know, simmer. Simmer down now. NorCal rolls out of it. Headbutt. Ooh, hardcore headbutt right there to Golden Threat. Big back elbow. And here comes NorCal spinning DDT. Super pimp, de bam, bam, de bam, pimp man. What? What is that word? Den, 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 den. Sounds like a broken weed eater. Den, 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 den. Broke my head right there. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the the thing is, is that the previous 2K17 and 2K18, you are unable to transfer characters because. I don't know. They hate humans. So I'm going to have to rebuild all these characters in 2K7 and 2K19 as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to still continue to put on the Wednesday and Tuesday shows here while we do the women's division on 2K19 and then slowly start incorporating until all this roster, and I think it's 46, this roster is there, and then we're going to continue from there and start adding new people. Um, Maybe uh, maybe we'll add a Showtime and a, you know a few other people like that. That's when I want to start doing it. However, it will be a big bonus and a quicker way to do it if people like, um, let's say, General Grievous or the Gala Guy has their own creator wrestler from their game that I can just download into it. And uh, it, it saves the time. I don't have to create it. And I'm more inclined to just toss you into the roster. Oh, damn it, DVD! Uh, I'm more inclined to toss you in the roster because I don't have to put the extra work into it. The uh, character is already there. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, Jimbo. Oh! Eugenos? Eugenos? By God, he killed. He nearly split him in half. <laughs> that special move is totally GT. <laughs> yeah, bravo. I agree. Um, I heard that the women's evolution pay-per-view, they're adding women's tag team titles. That'd be great. I mean, the women's division in actual real-life wrestling sports is fantastic. I mean, it's certainly better than a Roman Reigns match, but I digress. Um, he doing the pimp lock. Oh, no, that's true. It's true. Um, I appreciate that follow. Um, Eugenus? Eugenus? E Eugenus? You got to tell me how to say your name properly. Oh, damn. Even flow right there. Busted open. A uh, little bit of blood out of GQ. <laughs> out of Golden Threats. Nose right there. And he's put him in a submission. This is a submissions match. King NorCal. Got him in the, uh, not the boss of crab. What is that called? can never remember the name of this move. It's a Scott Steiner, Steiner recliner. There you go. <laughs> Throws him down. Golden Threat will not tap. By God, he split him in half. <laughs> I love Jim Ross. I miss him so much. Like, that's one of the guys you wish that you can clone. That way he can continue to just call matches. Like, King, I liked King, but he would get, like, healy, you know, and annoying. But Jim Ross always knew how to call a match. Him and Bobby the Brain Heenan. Camel Clutch. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it matches his suit. <laughs> uh, I totally read that wrong, Allie. Uh, screw you, Roman. Clap, 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 clap. Screw you, Roman. King NorCal doing a spin a Rooney. <laughs> this is a submissions match, guys, not an outside the ring fight. There you go. King NorCal knows he can't win out there. Jim Ross can make a letter opener sound exciting. You're right. But put Jim Ross and Bobby the Brain Heenan next to each other. Ah, it'd just be gold. It'd be gold. NorCal putting in the, uh, oh, he's got a name for that. I know it's a Scorpion Deathlock of the Sharpshooter. I know that. Uh, King's Ransom. King's Ransom. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. <laughs> Willie Tap. No. Golden Threat reverses the King's Ransom. Right there on NorCal. Showtime, you can make a story time. This is exciting. What? I don't know what that means. Make a story time. I, I, I like letter. You, letter opener was good. You, you should have you stuck with letter. Letter opener works. NorCal fighting off. Again, this is for the number one contendership for Golden Threats Operation Hug the World Championship. <laughs> He's going for the opener. By God, he's slicing it. He split it open like a coconut. Uh, what is going on, Hazard of Apocalypse? How you doing, buddy? Great. Welcome back, dude. How you been? Ain't heard from you for a while. How you been? I can't wait to see. Oh, my God, submission with weapons. Ah, there you go. Um, that would be really cool if you could, act, like I said, if 2K19 would allow you to have something like that. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm leaving. Why? I mean, if you can't take criticism, bro, you're in the wrong show. But good to see you, Hazard of Apocalypse. How's your day been? How's your week been? Hell, I ain't seen you in a month. How's your month been? Reverse elbow right there to Golden Threat. Side south to oh, backbreaker. Laid him down. We are on the fourth match tonight. Out. No, we're on the fifth match tonight. Only two more matches remain. I'm staying. There you go. Only uh, hopefully that the uh, shaggy and hippie chick are still hanging out. NorCal wrenching back on that neck. No, Golden Threat again. Again reverses out of that submission. King NorCal prides himself on the fact that he is a submission king. Yet he has been unable to make Golden Threat tap out. Uh, you don't realize how much I wanted voice acting in W2K18 and it's finally coming back. Is it really? That would be, that's, that's going to be welcomed. I agree with you on that one. Being good, bro. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch. I took your advice. Awesome. That's good. Um, how's it feeling for you? I mean, are you, are you feeling confident about it? Are you enjoying yourself? Um, let's see here. Do they have mixed tag team matches? That's something that they're they're doing in the show, like the real thing. I don't know if they're actually gonna bring it in or not because I don't know women violence. Um, it could have Jim Ross on Mike calling matches instead of the damn Michael Cole. I, Michael Cole is the future. Um, yeah, it is. Saw so it's good finally. Oh, 
King NorCal makes golden threat. Tap out. Good stream at the weekend. Sweet, man. They had in 2K15. Golden threat coming in hard, but it was not enough to put away King NorCal in his type of match. And that means that King NorCal becomes the number one contender. So, you know, he beat. He beat Golden Threat once. He beats him again. He has new SCW Gold. There are triple threat tag team matches. Thank God. Damn, that's something that was totally missing out of this game. Because I've got three different tag teams on each show, and you can't put them together to match out in, in, in any form, so it sucks. So that that's awesome they're actually adding that. See, I tried Googling what all the different changes and stuff are going to be, but they just... They're, they're trying to keep it a secret, like it's a Grand Theft Auto game or something. I mean, it's, it's fucking wrestling, bro. All right, we've got two more matches left to go. We've got an actual championship match, which is this one right here. And then we've got another number one contendership match. It sucks. <laughs> Hell yeah, Heroes and Villains still hanging out. Heroes and Villain, that man right there, is watching us all the way. <laughs> I have to, uh, I'm going to finish cleaning up. Have a fantastic night, everyone. Um, remaining part of the stream, and thank you so much for those 100 Wandas. Damn it, Shay Shy. I appreciate the hell out of you. Um, fantastic. If you guys have not checked out Cooking with Shay, if you have not checked out Cooking with Shay, right here on Twitch. You seriously need to. Uh, it, it doesn't matter if you've eaten a four-course meal and nine damn desserts. You go into that show, you're hungry. It look you can. It, it's almost like smell-o-vision. It looks amazing. You gotta go check her out. Fan damn tastic, and always makes me hungry. Let's do this, baby. Uh, I'm scared now. Don't be scared. By God, the king just put Golden into sleep. It's true. All right. This is one of these back and forth we're talking about. In SCW, if you lose a belt, you get an automatic rematch clause. Tonight, Mr. Critter, who is a former one-time paperweight champ, gets his opportunity back to take down Shaggy in a ladder match. Um... That bit noise scared me. Settle down, Jimbo. Settle down. Saddle. Saddle. Somebody pet Somebody pet Jimbo so he'll settle. Because that dude's just spinning circles in the backseat of the car. Crack the window. Let Jimbo stick his head out. Uh, later, Shay Shy. Yes. Uh, I wonder when there will be a 20-man Royal Rumble in 2K18. There is one. There, there's one in this one. Unless you mean something different. Shaggy's got this. I mean, I don't expect it to happen for a while. There is a there's a 20 man. There's a 10, 20, and a 30. Are you talking about something else? Yeah, King Norcal, bro. I mean, it's Yeah. Like a full match, too. It's not like you just not like you just walked in and, and it's like, oh, we just we just skipped it. Like, yeah, like a full match, bro. And like recently. <laughs> to Orange so they could play football on Saturday, hunt in the day. Damn, Fox isn't even here, bro. <laughs> and there he is, Mr. Shaggy from Hippie Chick and Shaggy over on the YouTube. Uh, fantastic, beautiful people. They are uh, old school streamers from the PlayStation Network. Mr. Shaggy is the reigning and defending paperweight champion. I said Battle Royal. Uh, you missed it, King. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shaggy is going to pull the wool over Critter's eyes. Poof, Mr. Machine ran you over. Damn. This is a ladder match. This is Shaggy's element right there. And believe it or not, that man is watching live from home right now. He actually has green tape wrapped around his fingers in anticipation for all that's about to happen. Wish they get rid of the... Max of six at the time of the Royal Rumble. Oh, I agree. I agree. That would be cool if you get like ten. 
Who the hell hosted me? Sir Pizza the Hut. Thank you so much for that host, my man. King of Troll Slayer. There you go. Uh, there it is. The Paperweight Champ. Uh, yeah, King Norka, you just got done wrestling, and you wrestled Golden Threat for the number one contendership for his Operation Hug the World Championship, and it was a submission match, and guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Uh, I like the Royal Rumble, but everyone is in the ring at the same time. Oh, oh, okay, I get what you're talking about, yeah. Um, not an entry, but a, a clusterfuck. Okay, I got you. Now I'm picking up what you're laying down, man. Uh, main event, WrestleMania 69, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar in a steel cage, Hell in a Cell match for the Universal Championship. Um, back in the day, I want to say it was like 1998 or 1999, uh, Al Snow wrestled, I think it was Steve Blackman, but don't quote me on that. I know it was Al Snow in a dog kennel match. And it was one of the coolest freaking matches I've ever seen. And it's the only time I've ever seen it. I know Al Snow was in it. Um, but they had a steel cage around the ring. And then they had a hell in a cell over the top of it. And then they had like Rottweilers or pit bulls or something on the outside patrolling the edges. That was a hell of a match. I mean, you're talking the Attitude Era when people are like, no, no, the New Age is so good. No, that was awesome stuff back then. So, um, yeah, you, you need to check that out. If you've never seen it, uh, I think it was a dog kennel or dog pin match, something like that. But Al Snow was in it, like 98, 99, somewhere in there. That's what they need to bring back. Uh, it was the kennel from hell. See, Joey knows what I'm talking about. Critter coming off the top rope, taking down Shaggy. Shaggy is an uh, amazing, amazing wrestler when it comes to that paperweight champ. And he definitely wants to keep it. Unforgiven 99. Come on, bro. Look at this noggin still working pretty damn well. Who do you wrestle? Was it Blackman? Oh, damn. Tilt a whirl. Backbreaker right there. Kick to the back. Critter looks like he is in control of this match. But the problem is, it doesn't matter if you can put your opponent down. You have to climb that ladder. Shaggy for the win. Big boss man. Ah, there you go. There you go. Okay, that makes more sense now. Shaggy from the top rope. Dropping the shagging wagon right on his face. Oh, elbow drop. Running right across the nose. Still, no man has touched that ladder. It's the only way to win the belt tonight. If you think this match is good, don't you worry. The main event is going to live up to it. Michael Furberger, number one contender versus Mr. Jonesy. Yeah, big boss man. Remember when old school Undertaker hung the boss man? Yeah, uh, hell in a cell. Yeah, how crazy was that? Um, yeah, they would never do anything like that nowadays. ICW had a house cleaning match where one guy had the kitchen sink and the other was... Machine was weapons? What? Oh, had a washing machine uh, as weapons. That's pretty cool. Um... There was a match in TNA that I, I liked so much, and it was Kurt Angle, and I cannot remember who he fought, but it was in an empty arena match, and it was like the, the arena they had down in Orlando. They had nobody in it. They started in the ring, and then they fought all the way around the arena. You know, there's no audience or anything, and I thought that was so damn different and cool, um, and I remember them throwing each other in the bleachers and stuff. Maybe even AJ Styles, but I don't remember. Well, the I Quit match when The Rock, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, what, How much was that? Like 15 chair shots or something? When you when you listen to Mankind talk about it, they were supposed to work their way chair shots back to the ring, and they were on like six, and they were supposed to only do like five, and they're, they're still in the entryway. Critter, worming up for the pizza cutter. Pizza cutter, dead center of the ring. Critter, dominating this match. Sting, okay, Sting. Critter's got that ladder. Shaggy is out cold, dreaming of Scooby Snacks. And man, I almost said something wrong. Not gonna do that. Not, not gonna do this. It's a family show. It's a family show. Um, <laughs> Shaggy all the way to the outside. Critter all alone in the middle of the ring, setting up that ladder. Automatic. Lo automatic rematch clause. Can Critter reclaim his paperweight champ? Shaggy still on the outside. Critter having a tough time with that lock. Shaggy momentarily. 
Oh, he's going up. He's going up. Critter releases it. I thought I thought he was just going to let him have it. Oh, shit. Shaggy threw Critter off the top of the damn ladder. Shaggy undoing that belt. Once again, the combination lock is so different. It is like 36 left, 19 right, 15 left. 19 right again. How many 19s you got in this? And Shaggy defeats Critter. Wow. Critter 100% dominated this match. There is no if, ands, or buttholes about it. Critter gave it 100%, took it to Shaggy. And in the end, Shaggy just climbed that ladder, went straight to the top, tossed Critter all the way down to the mat. Critter is still down. And your SCW paperweight champ, Shaggy. Sorry, I missed a comment. The main event of WrestleMania 9000, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar in an Inferno steel cage hell in a cell for the WWE Universal. They'll probably change the name for the Universal title by then. Uh, let's see here. Um, it was cool crowd. ICW chanted, you're, you're sinking, you're sinking. <laughs> uh, chair shots of the head makes sense, but no blood. Damn it. Uh, but no blood is triggered, especially since it's not real. Fuck right. This is my belt. Shaggy's experience with straps and hooks. Damn! All right, so you said what I was going to say. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> All right, so this is our main event for Tuesday Night Turbo. We have the most dominant force in all of wrestling. It is uncanny and ridiculous what Mayor of Toronto, Michael Furberger, is bringing to this company. It is ridiculous. Uh He's overcome so many odds. He has never, never been defeated for his SCW World Heavyweight Championship. Never, never been defeated for it. He almost became his own number one contender one time. Tonight in a tables match, we will see if Mr. Jonesy, the monster, the true monster of SCW, who stands six foot six, 300 pounds can take on the champ for the number one contendership, Michael Furberger. Jersey for the win! Uh, this should be good. Yes, that is the mayor. It's a paperweight championship literally made of paper. It's made of cardboard, but technically. Uh, I gotta go, Jonesy Furberger. Damn! <laughs> I challenge him next. All right, Allie. We'll see what happens, man. John Cena, Kurt Angle, first blood was insane. Uh, what was that? Was that... I'm trying to remember, was that like 2007? Never been defeated since the inception of the heavyweight championship belt. He's always worn that gold. The real mayor of Toronto, Canada, Michael Furberger. Tonight we'll see if Jonesy can become the number one contender and uh, we'll go from there. And if not, maybe we'll toss Allie out there. Furberger has to lose eventually. What's going on, Dooba 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 One? Goodbye, horses. <laughs> How you doing, J Dub? Great to see you, buddy. How's your day been? There he is. The potential number one contender. And like I said, these are based off of real statistics. There's only one man in all of SCW that's not based on it. That's Red Walrus. He's not on tonight. But this man does stand six foot six, 300 pounds in real life. So if that sounds like a true monster to you, imagine how the tiny, frail, 160 pound Michael Furberger feels in this situation <laughs> as the across the pond Jonesy, the real and true monster of SCW enters the ring. Take the gold to Scotland. Toot toot, Ellie. Furberger's gonna give Jonesy clams <laughs> amongst other special gifts, then pin Jonesy. Damn it, show. Called him out early. 
Uh, I'm good, thank you. They almost finished painting the house today. They? Why aren't you painting the house, bro? I know, we've had another tables match already tonight, but I like tables matches. I like matches that have stipulations. Good God! He's a giant! He's gonna kill him! Uh, after that, Furburger will offer him a Canadian health care. <laughs> Jonesy. Trying to mount an offense against the true unstoppable force of Michael Furberger. And let's be honest, even if Furberger is not on his game tonight and loses, it's not like he loses the title. He just gives Jonesy another shot. Jonesy coming in hard. Kick to the side of the face. Retro Mortis. What's going on, buddy? Great to see you tonight. Oh, the uh, hamstring puller. That's, uh, that's a tool you can buy at Home Depot. Jonesy, big ass uppercut right there to Furberger. Furberger smartly rolls out to the side. Jonesy, setting him up. Holy shit. What the hell happened? What a fluke of a match! I want to see the replay of that! I'm no painter. The shed was enough for me, bro. Wow! I mean, technically, when you don't see the table coming, you can't reverse to it. That's got to be the quickest match yet. Wow, Goldberg moment there. What the fuck was that? Yeah, hacks. My God, he killed him. He just killed him, man. <laughs> Damn. We end off Tuesday Night Turbo with a brand new number one contender for May of Toronto, Michael Furberger's SCW heavyweight championship and that is that man right there the monster jonesy wow that i did not see that i didn't know that was even possible i thought that table was flat on the ground i didn't know it was set up damn <laughs> that's what i love about this simulation though that that's truly what i love about this simulation is you never know how it's going to go. There's no real control behind it. It is all just, it's flickers in the wind, man. It's crazy. Um, wow. That was awesome. That was really, really cool. Um, I just hide for now. Yeah, you might want to, you might want to get back because that was quick. That was fast. That was damn. All right, guys. So I appreciate you guys being here tonight. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll check. We'll check. We'll see if there's any injuries. Uh, news. Uh, nope. It only keeps track of those belts, apparently. Um. Oh, apparently the, uh, yeah, why does Fish Stick have a, have a rival with a golden threat? I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Get Braun Strowman will destroy Jonesy. Oh, okay. I, I might. We might take him up on that. Uh, let's see here. Fizz Kid and Listwitz. Whatever. So no injuries apparently. Nothing there. Furberger's pride must be injured. Yeah, but you know that he didn't see that shit coming. Like, like he just stood up on the outside and he got shoulder blocked to the outside through a table. Like that is just dumb luck. But what's cool about that is, is that everybody here tonight got to see something very new and very ridiculous. So the rematch to this is going to be even bigger because Furberger suffered a defeat at the hands of Jonesy. So it's pretty cool. Uh, that'd be a great match, Jonesy versus Strowman. I mean, technically we could do it. Technically. We got to, I mean, it's not even 10 o'clock yet. So let's see here. Uh, yes. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Since you guys are here, we'll, we'll do Strowman versus Jonesy just for the hell of it. Not the halibut, the hell of it. Uh, could Jonesy and Red Walrus break the ring? I don't know. Uh, it was, it's normally going to be over in General Grievous, but we're going to, we're going to do this match because was it you that suggested that? 
Yeah, yeah. You you suggested it, so um, I, I think we'll just do it. Well, why why the fuck not? It's funny. Um, you guys, let's do a normal match. That way, there's no weird things. Or do you guys want to do a tables match? Let's do a tables match. Let's see if it's tables. Let's let's do it that way. No holds barred. All right. Let's see here. Uh, I gotta go to the J's because that's where Jonesy is. There he is. And then Braun. He's outmatched. He's got four on him, but let's see. Let's see. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, but yes, and yes, but no at the same time. I'm 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 curious. I'm I'm very curious. Do a no holds bird. Well, again, like we talked about, the simulation of this game is ridiculous. Um, okay, fine, we'll stop it, we'll stop this, and we'll do it your way. Like, the No Holds Barred really doesn't, I don't know, I would like to see it differently, but. We'll do it your way. <laughs> agree with Grievous. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck you. Um, there it is. Fuck me. Fuck you. And and now, now that I do this, like, oh man, it should have been a tables match. It would have been great. It would have been great for a tables match. Okay. Alright. Same deal. We just gotta go through the loading screen. Alright, here we go. Yay! Ali's happy! Uh, how about false count anywhere? <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautifully timed, too. Oh, I like that. Good, good job, Gala Guy. I like that. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, as soon as I click on this and it's, it's loading screen, how about false count anywhere? That's when somebody else should have popped in. Oh, it should have been a cage match. All right, here we go. Braun Strowman versus Jonesy in a no holds barred match. Jonesy starting off with uh, what the, the monks, monster among men is that is that I think that's his name monster among men among men can't even say that word. Jonesy the SCW wrestler versus the actual or tables match. <laughs> Versus the actual WWE wrestler Braun Strowman, who is a giant beast, man. That dude is really big. Really big dude. Close line to Jonesy. Jonesy tosses him off. If you looked at the statistics, Braun Strowman is an 88, whereas Jonesy is an 84 only. I wonder if the house rules has anything to do with it. Because all the other matches tonight except for the Royal Rumble one, took place inside the SCW arena. And here we're actually taking place on like a Monday Night Raw type of a deal. So I wonder if that home field advantage is sort of in Braun Strowman's corner. It should have been a last man standing match. <laughs> no, no, no. It really should have been hell in a cell. I can't see. That guy can't see. Take it out to the crowd. Good job, guys. Jonesy on the outside. And Braun just kind of just watching him. And now they're both on the outside. No holds barred in any way. You can do as you please anywhere you want. It should have been a last man stand. That's funny. Jonesy just stomping in the gut, trying to take that wind out of his sails. This is the largest arena that Jonesy has ever performed in front of. Him. Will he have performance anxieties? There's a lot of questions. Jonesy got promoted to the main roster. Shit, Vince gonna bury him. <laughs> Oh, it's so true. It's so true. If you're not, if you're not, um, Typhoon and, oh, what was the other, it wasn't Hurricane. What was, the, what was Typhoon? The, the, the Masters of Disasters. What was the other guy's name? Typhoon and Earthquake. Typhoon and Earthquake. Guess referee should have, oh, yeah, dude, that's something that I so wish. Like, 
the old school THQ game on N64 had guest referees, and you could be the guest referee in a simulated match. Like, Earth, I got it, I got it. Anything, anywhere. Furburger so <laughs> would, would would so win this. I, sh I probably should have put Furburger in this match too. Triple threat match just to see if he beat Strowman. Uh, Braun is basically the modern day uh, version of Kane. Uh, you're, you, well, yeah, I, I would kind of say you're right, mainly because like Kane only has one heavyweight title run that I know of. I, I didn't watch it a lot, like like 2006 to now. So, but I think it only has one. Uh, yeah, Jonesy gotta be Roman's bitch. Damn. Um. Yeah, Vince likes him big. Vince likes him big and brawny and, and large and in charge. He's always had the uh, the super hard on for the large man. And he will push him to the extreme for it. Braun got that sledgehammer that Jonesy pulled out. Jonesy got it back. Jonesy working it back on Braun. Wins no titles, but will kill everyone. You're right. It's crazy. Kane is awesome. Kane has done so much. What was the, like, so many Inferno matches, but I remember there was, like, the dumpster fire he threw Shane McMahon into. Uh, I would make the fattest person and make him a ref. Just like this, like this round guy in the middle of the ring. <laughs> like the, uh, the blueberry from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That would be a great ref, wouldn't it? Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet. Now go ref this match. That'd be awesome. If, if, that, if that's the thing to do in the game, I'm going to make... Violet, the ref of the women's division. <laughs> that would be funny. I believe Typhoon and Earthquake were called the natural disasters. What did I call them? Go, Jonesy going for the pin! Holy shit! Oh, I said Masters of Disasters. You're right. It is natural disasters. Yeah, I said, I said uh, Masters. Damn, apparently, apparently Jonesy knows how to get it done. J-Dub, that is not the first time anybody said that near you, bro, so you need to settle down. Wow. Damn. Holy shit, Jonesy is the man. Jonesy might be the very first person to take that title from Furburger. Damn. That was pretty cool. Should have been a tables match. Come on, somebody. Uh, paperweight versus cruiserweight would be good. You're right. You're right. I don't know. I kind of want to put Furberger against somebody from WWE now. I mean, who's the who's the Hyatt? Brock. We'll do Furberger versus Brock. We'll do it in a normal match. I'm very curious. Now that this has gone on. Nerdy, you calm down. Don't stop sharing my secrets. By gosh! <laughs> Directly to the sledgehammer. <laughs> oh shit! I said no. Remove manager. Oh, remove manager. Yes. No manager. Uh, Furberger should get an STD match versus Brock. <laughs> uh, no, it should be an Iron Man match. No, I'm uh, no. This is this is the last one. I'm just very curious. I'm very curious because Furberger really is the dominant force in SCW. I mean, when you look on paper, and and I keep uh, I keep track of everything. You know, when you look at it on paper, Furberger is the dominant force. And I mean, in real life, Brock Lesnar could be a true WWF champion or WWE champion. I mean, he's already been a legit UFC champion. So, I mean, when you look at him and you see his statistics, like you feel like he could be the champ. Uh, Brock got this. Damn, Norville Rogers. And you saw the statistics. Furberger's an 84. Brock is a 93. Place your bets. I'm very curious. I'm very curious what you guys think about this. What do you think? 
Furberger, mayor of Toronto, versus the real deal Brock Lesnar. Suplex City starting off quick. Furberger's going to take a ride to Suplex City, bitch. I beat you to it by, like, that much. Brock is seriously, like, <laughs> this is ridiculous to Furberger. Oh my god, it's like it's like he's versing Brian Kendrick or something. Just hit this Suplex City right off the bat, dude. There, welcome to Suplex City, Furberger. Damn. This may break his spirits. <laughs> Lesnar setting him up. Oh shit. A suplex there it is. Uh waiting for it. F off to Michael Furberger. Damn! <laughs> Brock is overrated, but Furberger looks like a rag doll. By God, look at Brock Lesnar, oversizing Furberger. <laughs> Damn, dude! I think I think Furberger got one kick in, <laughs> just just one. I think he went Psh, Brock versus Jonesy. <laughs> Damn, that was that was a J Dub quick. I mean, that was wow. <laughs> it's not even ten thirty yet. Damn. <laughs> that was funny. That was really funny. I'm. Brock versus Jonesy in SCW. All right. All right. What last match? Last match. All right. So what what kind of match do you guys want? Shit. <laughs> I cannot believe how fast that was. Uh Brock Lester killed a buck all he's dead. All right. Brock versus Jonesy, but what ma what kind of match do you guys want? Not a um not an Iron Man or a Last Man Standing. Neither one of those. I can do a First Blood, which you know it'll last a little long that way, but neither one of these, they'll last too long. Um, backstage Brawl. Uh, a, 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 whoa. A Bork Lasner. Bork Lasner, bitch. <laughs> That's hard to say, but I like it. Bork, Bork Lazar, bitch. <laughs> Falls count anywhere. All right. So falls count. That's the that's one of them. Backstage brawl is another one. So um, whichever one gets at least two votes. So backstage fall extreme rules. Okay. So there's there's three different ones right there. So falls count. Backstage brawl. Extreme rules. Uh, falls count anywhere. So that's what we're gonna do. That's the first one to hit two. Sorry, right, Dooba Dooba. You need to type faster, bro. Uh, where do you change the arena at? There it is. Tabbles. Uh, well, let's do it at Tuesday night. So, I guess I never changed the the format to it. Oh, well, no, that's raw. Huh. Whatever, we'll do it here. Yay! I thought I changed the name to it. I guess I just left it as Twisted Tuesdays. All right, so Jonesy versus Bork B Bork Lasner. <laughs> I pass. I pass Bork Lasner. All right, here we go. Place your bets. Who's going? Who's taking us down? Who's taking us down? Falls count anywhere. Jonesy, who you just saw beat Michael Furberger, and then turn around and beat Braun Strowman versus Bork Lasner, who you just saw decimate Michael Furberger. And we're doing it at home for Jonesy. We're doing it in the SCW Arena right here on Tuesday night. Bork Lasner. <laughs> Brock for the win. Damn, Norval. Ain't got no, uh, no, uh, what is it, home pride? I mean, Bork's a, f Bork's a foreign invader. Uh, Furberger, mano y mano versus Brock, but Jonesy gets special treatment. Rigged. Damn. 
Let's see. Personally, I don't think it's going to matter, but we will still continue and see how it's going to do. Brick Lazar! Brock. Oh, this is Frodecade. <laughs> laser, not Lazar. Laser. Brick. Oh, wait, wait. Bork Laser. Brock tossing Jonesy into the turnbuckles. Damn. Jonesy, really, really? Oh, he hit his head of the turnbuckles all the way down. Yeah, this is Frodecade, apparently. <laughs> Dad, Frode's like, yay, I'm back in the match. <laughs> Bork laser, I got you, I got you. Is that an inflection on the A? We talked about the A in the very beginning of this show. Uh, just trying to say something different so I'm not copying. I like it, I like it. Uh, was it Brick La Brick Lozer? Undertaker versus Freddy's match would be interesting. You're right. Uh, so far, Jonesy has been unable to mount any kind of uh, defense against uh, Brick Lazder. Uh oh, put him in the oh damn the long stretch. Jonesy, Jonesy, is he fighting him off? New, no, new, no, new, no, new. No. <laughs> Ali, that would be. By God, look at the size of Bork Laser. <laughs> oh shit, Jonesy finally getting a little bit of the upper hand right there against Brock. Roll around. Somebody landed a move against Brock Lesnar. Wow, and not even a one count. That ref got to, huh, and it did, that's a half. <laughs> Damn. Brock, very, very OP in this. Jonesy going right into the turnbuckle. Sitting down, waiting for the stink face. Brooke Lesnar. <laughs> it would be interesting to see Undertaker versus Freddy, but I, I don't think I have Undertaker unlocked in this game. DDT! DDT, huh? Jonesy reversing a move! <laughs> I'm just impressed that it's gone a little bit fa a little bit slower than Furberger versus Lesnar. Turd Ferguson, there you go. <laughs> Turd Ferguson, funny name. <laughs> Even flow right there, kick to the face. Jonesy may have some control in this. No, Brock turns it right around. Brock getting pissed off. <laughs> Still rigged. I love that show. Great. <laughs> Headbutt. Whoa! Whoa! What the what the fuck was that? <laughs> Jonesy getting fired up. Jonesy firing him up. Oh, big clothesline. Another clothesline. Brock Lesnar misses. Jonesy. Fireman's carry. Spin. Jonesy is kind of in control right now. That's a little crazy. It's a smidge crazy. Just a crazy suplex city coming up. It's Jonesy. <laughs> they were getting handsy. Meanwhile, at suplex city, Jonesy got him for the power bomb right there. Laid him out dead center of Dan Frode's face. Two. Oh, shit. That was so close. That was so close. That was an actual, real, legitimate count right there against Brock Lesnar. Jonesy, kind of in control. I hate to say it, but oh no, shit. Spoke too soon. Lesnar with a shoulder block and Jonesy is on dream streak. Jonesy shows him how it's done. Got a real match. I mean, it's, oh! What the fuck? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? That nobody even came out. Jonesy distracted him and a power bomb right there. Oh. <laughs> it's Furberger. <laughs> 
We got a real slobber knocker here. What the fuck just happened? I don't know. Nothing. I don't. I, I don't know. That was crazy. That was really crazy. Uh oh. Brock's got him in the Brock lock. I think that's called the Brock lock, which is sad, but I think it's called that. That was odd. Oh. And Jonesy tabs out to Bork Les La Laser. What the hell was that? Damn ghosts. Damn, so many times Jonesy came close to taking him. Furburger's ghost. Makes sense. <laughs> it's the roids. Brock was seeing things. Crazy. What a crazy match. That was pretty cool. It, it, at least it wasn't, you know, over in two seconds. That was really cool. By God, the distraction did nothing to help, and Brick destroyed him. It's so true. It's so damn true. Uh. Brock Lesnar, still undefeated. He's got a perfectly placed knife underneath his, um, his man hooters. <laughs> Write that down. Man hooters. <laughs> Brock having Roman nightmares. All right. So that officially concludes the show tonight. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys being here. It's It's been fantastic. We had a great Tuesday night uh, turbo. It was great. Um, and then we had a little bit of fun afterwards because the show was over just a little bit too early. Um, but I really appreciate everybody who followed the show tonight, all the new people. Uh, if you are new, I don't do the wrestling a lot. It's only on Tuesdays and Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. So adjust accordingly. However, I do do a normal show Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6 p.m. Central Time. And it's uh, talking about mostly the stuff that's behind me in IRL. On um, Thursdays, I'm throwing my hand into the ASMR because I like satire and I think it's funny to slap asparagus on a microphone. So if that's your kind of thing, tune in at 8.30 p.m. Central Time on Thursdays. Saturday morning around 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning uh, Central Time, I do a radio show. And Sunday, I'm going to try to do either a board game stream or talking about actual Funko Pops, which is all the rage. So if you guys are interested in that, that's my schedule. I appreciate you guys being here and uh, I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow for a normal show and I'll see you tomorrow night for some more SCW wrestling. You had me at asparagus. All right, I'm going to send you guys over to, let me see, let me see, let me see. I'm going to send you guys over to Homebody Lifestyle. Hopefully they're still on. It shows they're still on. If they're not, buckle up. We'll, we'll relocate. But check out Homebody. Uh, later, Lethal. Check out Homebody Lifestyle. You'll love Delve and Mr. Homebody. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.